Hello everybody and welcome to episode number three of Workout with Webb. That's me, Mr. Webb. Today's session is stretching. It's important to stretch to improve your flexibility and suppleness. Also, stretching before you exercise reduces the chance of any injury happening to your muscles. All stretches should be performed for around 8 to 10 seconds with no bouncing as you could cause yourself some injuries when you do this. So we're going to do a minute warm up and then we're going to do uh, some stretches from top to toe. So let's get started. Okay, jogging on the spot to start with. Just to raise your pulse slightly, get the blood pumping around your body and star jumps. And run on spot. And star jumps. And run on the spot. Faster, and faster, and faster, and faster. And relax into a march. Alternate arms and legs. And star jumps. And march. And jump twists. Side to side. Keep your feet together. Keep twisting. Alternately and march. And heel flicks at the back. Keep, put your hands at the back and try and kick your hands and knees up high. That's good, keep it going. And march. High knees, try and reach your chest if you can. And jog on the spot. Okay, so we're gonna go from top to toe. So we're gonna start with our head. So the first thing we're going to do is our neck. So we're going to look up to the sky and then your chin comes down onto your neck, back up to the sky, down to your neck. We're going to look left, we're going to look right, we're going to look left, we're going to look right. Okay, next is your shoulders. So put your hands on your shoulders and you're going to rotate forwards. We're going to do this about five or six times. Nice and slow. Really getting good circles and rotation back. Again, five or six times. Loosen up those shoulders. And then we're going to do a stretch on our chest. So hands behind your body and push your chest forward. And hold it there for, remember, 8 to 10 seconds. And really push back as far as you can. Okay, now we're going to come to the front and do our upper back. So put your hands out in front of yourself. And just push your hands forward. Like this, as far as you can. You should feel it tighten up at the top part of your back. Oh, And... Now onto our triceps. So put one arm behind your back on your shoulders, the back of your shoulder there, and the other arm comes across to your elbow and you push down at the back. Okay, and we're going to swap. We're going to alternate onto the other one and push as far as down as you can. You should feel it all down the your tricep muscle, which is there at the back of your arm. Okay, now we're going to do some work on our lower back. This will require you to get down on the floor. So we're going to start off in like what we call the seal position by pushing our back as far up as we can. And then we're going to push our bum backwards and stretch forwards with our arms as far as we can. And hold it there. And then to the seal position again, and push backwards, hold it, and then back again, and just push your arms forward to stretch your back. That's good. Oh, okay, back up onto your feet. So next one is going to be your hips. So this time we're going to do some hip rotations. 
So you'll go one way, to the right or the left, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to go back round the other way. Circle your hips five or six times. And then try and do a figure of eight if you can. Go all the way round, figure of eight. That seems you feel your hips nice and loose. Right, the next one is our quads. They're the front part of your legs there. So we're going to try and balance on one leg if you can. Put your arm out for extra balance if you need to. And hold it there. Pull your ankle as far up to your back as you can. Right down there. Okay, next swap legs. Again, put your arm out to the side for extra balance. Try and focus your head on something in front of you. To hold the position. Remember, 8 to 10 seconds always for a stretch, no bouncing. Well done. Okay, next one's going to be our hamstrings. This time, we're going to reach down. I'm going to try and touch the floor with our legs shoulder width apart. Okay, and hold it there. Remember, really important not to bounce, guys, because you can really injure yourself with your hamstrings. Very delicate muscle at the back of your leg. And hold it there. Okay, shake that off. This time, we're going to do the same again. Go try and go a little bit further down this time. If you can touch the floor, fantastic, but don't force it. As long as you can feel it tightening at the back of your leg, that's the position you need to be in and hold it there. Good. Fantastic. Okay, the next one is going to be our groins. They are the muscles on the inside of your legs. Okay, so we're going to do we're going to go up. Over the gate, down, woof woof, back over the gate and down. We're going to swap legs, back over the gate, down, woof woof, back over the gate and to the centre. We're going to do about three or four on each side. That's it, keep that going. So out, up, out, to the side, down, and then back up, over, to the centre. And we'll keep going. Two more on each side. Try and do it nice and slow so you're not going too fast. Make sure that dog doesn't bite you on the way through. Woof woof, over and out. Woof woof, out and back to the centre. Good. Okay, now we're going to work on our calves. So one leg in front of the other, pointing forwards, both legs pointing forwards, and you're going to lean over on your front knee, but keep your back leg straight and you should feel your calf muscle stretching out and hold it there if you want to you can push your arms forward as well just give you a bit of extra balance okay and swap legs push forwards and hold it there if you don't keep your back legs straight you won't feel the muscle stretching so you must keep your back legs straight and lean forward with your knee Excellent. Okay, last one. This is our ankles. Ankle rotations. So ankle out in front of you and you're going to rotate your ankle round. One direction. Do about five or six rotations on each ankle and then go back the opposite way. If you can't balance, then you could hold on something at the side or you could put your foot on the ground and rotate it instead. And swap legs. We're going to go round. Good, keep that going. My ankle's clicking. And back, that's it. Round we go. Opposite direction. Four or five times. And relax. Okay, so now you should feel a little bit looser. Remember, when we work out, flexibility is really important. It allows us to stretch without injuring ourselves and makes you a little bit more agile as well for any sporting activities. And day-to-day -day life things such as climbing stairs, lifting heavy things, all those count towards a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for taking part and see you next week for the next episode of Workout with Webb.